Welcome back. And let's quickly catch up on how Matthew Manning is getting on with his patients. And there you see the scene, and the four of them. And some sort of psychic influence there on the cameraman, <laughs> who's, in this particular case, the cameraman's lost entire sense of bearings. It's an amazing triumph. It's all Yuri's fault. <laughs> okay, well, we'll come back later on and we'll find out how they're getting on. And we've got one of those thousands of calls on the line now. Don't know who it is. Hello. Simon. Simon from where? Simon. From Great Borton. Pardon? Simon Lovelock from Great Borton. What's happened in your house? Um, well, first of all, um, my car key, and I'm meant to be going out in about half an hour, <laughs> and my car key well, um, is bent double, and uh, I don't know how to straighten it up now so I can get it in the ignition. <laughs> and I'm meant to be going out in half an hour. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to straighten it back up because I've got another one. The second thing was um, I've got a watch and uh, it's been in a tin in uh, the bottom of a cupboard for two years now. And this is um, the second thing and that's actually started working. Now, again, I'm still a bit skeptical, a very skeptical person. And uh, even I didn't, you know, even this, I tried to, you know, think there's a reason for it. But to believe it or not, I've actually got a grandfather clock in the uh, back room there under the archway. And uh, it's been in the family for quite a while. And right. it's never worked while I've had it since my dad gave it me. And it's never worked while he's had it, but it's actually started working. And it's well, right, I'm going to have to cut in there. It. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Um, and uh, he can use his watch to tell the people how late he's going to be yeah. with the key and all of and that. And by the way, David, anyway, that, God bless him. that interference before could, might have been uh, psychic energy. Well, anyway, really, it yeah, really well, absolutely. Could, I was it does happen. A joke, it does happen. No, it well, does happen. Tonight we're going to take telepathy another step further still. Uh, for the first time ever on television anywhere, Yuri Geller is going to invite you to join him in a psychic treasure hunt. And remember yes. the success of that last experiment means that even more people may get this right than we expected. Yes. Over to you. So, so what, what is about to happen, um, I'm holding a key, actually a sister key, to a key that we have hidden in a very striking location in England. And I will try to attempt to transmit to you telepathically, like before, that location. And obviously, you know, you're going to win a brand new car if you get that location from me telepathically. But before I do that, take the key away from me before it bends. Yes, yes, we mustn't have that again. And this key, in fact, belongs to this car. A brand new Honda Civic DX. Brand new. Wow. So send us your drawing. That's the thing, the drawing of the place where you think we have hidden the key. And you could be driving a new family car. Okay, now here go. My concern is that I'm so telepathic tonight, and you're so open-minded that everyone is going to win the car. Yeah, well, we, we're going to have a draw. <laughs> okay, now seriously, here goes. I'm now inside my mind. I visualize this location. I'm looking straight into the camera lens, into your homes, into your minds. I'm transmitting the location. I visualize it, I see it very sharply, and I'm passing it to you. Feel it, see it. You could even hear the name of the place. One last time, I'm transmitting it, staring to my eyes. Okay. Thank you, Yuri. Yeah, it's, it's pretty draining. I imagine, I imagine yeah. it is, yeah. Have you got the picture? If you think so, then post your entry to Beyond Belief, P.O. Box 101, London, WC2N4RW. Please post by Monday to arrive by Tuesday evening. In the event of several entries being broadly accurate, we'll put them in a hat and draw the winner. That winner will be announced as a special item on GMTV next Friday morning. And now it's time... Thanks very much, Thank you. Thank you. And now it's time to rejoin... Matthew, Matthew Manning with the patients uh, that we met and were delighted to meet earlier on. Uh, what's, what's happened? Uh, we don't know yet. We're waiting for you to find out. But um, All right, well, we're why don't you... We've certainly got very, very hot. Right. 
did it? Yes, it, very, very hot. It got very hot? Very hot. Well, would you like to mention what you'd like them each to do then? Uh, well, Keith was the person that I was working with mostly because he'd got two restrictions which we showed earlier. Um, I'm just curious to see if that's actually made any difference it, with your arm movements, for example, because I know before you were only getting them up about that much. Well, I could actually feel the pain leaving me while you were doing it. Oh. I don't feel any pain at all. No pain, no pain at all. No, You're not was, just imagining it. No, that was an incredible experience. Oh, oh that's that wonderful. So and what about with the movement forward? Because that was also um, I know restricted before. Yeah, I can get, certainly get a bit, go down farther than. Uh... No, I don't feel any. You're sure there's no I pain? I still feel pain. But it's, but it's nothing like... Uh, so it's reduced severe. from what it was? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, and this, incredible. no pain? With that. That's incredible. It is. And is there time to check with everybody? Barbara, what, Thank what you happened very to much you? Indeed. I felt incredibly relaxed and I had a pain in my head when we started. I haven't got that now. I think the movement is still... Is, is still quite restricted, but we thought that would happen anyway, didn't we? But I don't think there's much I can do for the movement. I thought no. maybe the pain would go. Yeah, well, the pain that I had in my head has definitely gone. It was there when we started, and it isn't there now. Oh, good. Did you have a good response? Now, this, of course, Matthew was working directly with you, wasn't he? But did you have a good response? I felt very peaceful and very and increasingly warmer. Uh, I'm not really sure about the pain at the moment. It might be marginally reduced. And what about you? You felt the you felt the heat. I could actually feel the energy. Feel the burn. Feel yeah, the I energy. could actually feel the energy passing between us. And off stage, I actually experimented to see how much more movement I had, and I have got considerable amount of more movement. Can you show us? Yes. That was where I could get it before, and now I can actually get it to there before it starts pulling. Well, now it starts pulling once I get it to there. Yeah. But not but between I there and I, I could never get it up there. Yeah. And here we're talking of something that, as you say, you've been treating four people. Four people, and I think that was about ten minutes. I mean, normally and you I had expect ten to work with somebody for twenty minutes. Yes, but I mean that's, and I'm so glad about you. you yeah, I am too. <laughs> a comment from you. It was, it was interesting to watch. There was no manipulation whatsoever. It was just a laying on of hands, and all the patients sort of said they could feel heat coming through, and and to see it work, it's incredible. And what could be done in? Longer sessions, obviously. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Matthew, yeah. thank you. Thank you all. We're glad you've all got some benefit from this. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Friedrich, um, what do you make of something like that? This man, obviously, Matthew Manning, I don't know whether you've met him before. He has a wonderful tradition as a healer. Uh, what happens in a moment like that, when we hear of heat like that? What does it mean, do you think? Uh, I don't think that it's uh, happened something physical, which you can explain uh, physical, but it really happens something because they feel it. And uh, if there's some healing for me as a scientist, it is very astonishing. But for me, as a man, it's not very aston uh, astonishing because my wife is also a healer, and I, oh, I realize really? this <laughs> every <Yeah>. day. <laughs> that there and, is this, and uh, of course, there is a force of the mind over the matter, and uh, I often measure uh, this in paraphysics, beside my normal works as a physicist. Uh, but you cannot explain it in physics. You can only um, explain it in terms when you know the underlying laws of something which is over the normal physics. Yes. A word from you on this, too. I think that what Matthew was doing is drawing some energy from outside himself, which he channels through himself to other people. I think the energy is outside is in the universe, if you like, in this psychic ether, which Matthew picks up. Thank you very much indeed. And now we go outside for the ultimate test of uh, mind over, over matter. Earlier today, Christina Thomas began turning this mass of wood into that fire, that fire walk. And now these coals are burning at a temperature of 1,500 degrees 
Fahrenheit. And that 1500 degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to the double weight, the double weight and heat and strength that you get from a normal family oven. So, so that's it, 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you see on a miserable night here in Nottingham, we've got standing by, as you can see, we've got the fire brigade just in case. Not only the fire brigade just in case, but we've got the ambulance just in case. And we hope that we'll need neither, of course. And Yuri and Matthew are here. And this is Christina. This is Christina Thomas. Welcome, Hello, Christina. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Matthew, would you like to just demonstrate the heat of... That is hot. Boiling. <laughs> that... 1,300 Fahrenheit on the primer. All ah, right. I said it was usually about two ovens strength, and that was 1,500. It's actual temperature tonight, 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Right. And the... Uh, if you write in, you can also get this recipe as well from Matthew. And now, are you ready? I know, you, this is mind over matter too, yes, rather yes, like yes. what we heard before. Very yes, much, yes. focus, attention, awareness, yes. Okay, well, uh, here's to it, and I know first okay. of all, focus, awareness, and I know you need time, don't you? Yes, you need yes, time, I need first of all. 10 or 20 seconds, yes, to f focus right. myself. Good luck. Thank you. Yes. Now that was a funny thing, because as you come back closer mm -hmm. and, uh, and we see there, you can just see the, the heat there, the fire coming through there. Did you feel anything as you did that, Christina? I, yes, I did this time. Uh -huh. you Sometimes did. I don't feel anything. I did feel some warmth this time. Uh -huh. Well, let me come for a, a comment to you, Dr. Cargo. What did you make of that? Um, I think this is explainable by physics. It's something else than that what we have seen before because the heat conductivity and the heat uh, capacity of the live coal is very low and therefore I would think everybody could uh, go over these live coals. Everybody could? You, you, yes. you don't mean that? You couldn't do it, could you? I would. I would. I could what? do it, yes. You I would? Could. Yeah. You sure? Then okay. please come and do it. Shall I do it? Yes. <laughs> please come and do it. We'll try and get a two-minute overrun if we can. And now, now, Christina, he's very confident. Is he right that if he's got the right approach, he can do it? Yes. Yes, everyone can do this depending on how they're able to focus their mind because all of us have so much power so much more than we realize. And what the firewalk does is show you so graphically that you not just believe it, but that you have done it. And so when something goes wrong in your body after that, you remember that you have this power and you can tap it again. You see, it's very practical. So that's so, very positive. Yes. Well, here's Dr. Kaga. Come back up this end. Can you bring the cameras up? Dr. Kaga, come back up here. And Christina is very much in favor. This is especially a um, psychological effect because the radiation is very high and therefore one has some fear uh, from mm -hmm. that. But it's, uh, the heat conductance is not so high. Shall I do it? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Without shoes. Without shoes. <laughs> without socks. Yes, the yeah, socks, prob the socks would probably take. Yeah, they probably will. All hoping to get warmer uh, feet, finally. I do apologize. It's rather cold weather on those feet tonight, uh, yes. Friedbert. I will get one more feet, okay? That's breathtaking. <laughs> Come over here. Come over. Come, over here. Come over here. All right, <laughs> I need my shoes. Well, now that was absolutely. Now, what did you feel as you did that? Oh, nothing. Uh, like a little warmer than uh, mm -hmm. before. 
just like a little warmer than before. And why were you able to do it? Why was he able to do no, it? No, I'm not able. Uh, everybody's come there. come around this way. A bit. All right, no, just right here. I don't think you have to explain it. It's just like when you begin explaining it, then I'm not sure it works so well. You know how to do so much more, but your mind may not understand it or be able to explain it. You see, this is like a little woman who weighs maybe 110 pounds, a car falls on her child, and she lifts a 2,000 pound car because suddenly the need is there. She has strength. She couldn't do it later, but at that moment she could do it because the power was there, she could tap it. And so that's what this shows, that there is a power there, and if you can find the way to tap it, you can regenerate cells maybe that are deteriorating, that are maybe even cancerous. It's the same thing that Yuri and Matthew well, have been exhibiting. Well, it's, it's a fantastic way to end this program, because the, the message all along has been this message that there's a lot tonight. Where, where are our uh, freezing heroes? Come and join <laughs> us, both of you here. I mean, this message that we're hearing just, just here is, in fact, the message that you've been putting out all exactly. evening. Really. Absolutely, right from the start. I think it's something which anybody can do. Yes. yes. Mm. Positive yes. thinking, be a dreamer, and great things will happen yes. to you. Yes, yes. Mm. Have a positive mm. life. Yes. Mm. That's it. That is terrific. Well, thank you all very much indeed. That is the message. And we'd love to hear your phone call messages. I think it's 3AW, not 3RW, if you're sending in. Not that it matters, because that's only the numbers at the end. But that's on the entries that you're sending into the competition. But what... Please call us tonight. Call us tonight. If there's something else that you have in, inspired by what you've heard tonight, thank you all. Let us know what you feel about whether you believe it's real, illusion, or just beyond belief. Next weekend, Impulse is the ITV Saturday movie.